So Moody Coliseum as part of the renovation will drop from 9,000 seating capacity to about 7,000. Most of that is due to the fact that we need to bring the building up to current code for people to be able to come in and assemble in a safe fashion and to take care of those that with special needs and handicap seating. So one of the big changes is we need to make our aisles a little wider. Our current aisleways are three feet and they need to go to four foot wide and have a railing to help people get up and down. Also, we need to make our vomitories wider. Vomitories is an old Roman terminology used back in the days of the Colosseum and it was allowed people to get from inside the Colosseum to the outside um, and so today in spectator sporting venues even theaters the same language is used is that aisleway or passageway from the entertainment area outside. So as you can see over here the very wide opening is what our new vomitories will look like in terms of width and height. Compared to the original one here, where you can see the N and the M, our current vomitory. So that forces us to lose quite a bit of seating. As you can see down here at the lower, we've also taken out the blue concrete wall that divided the lower and the upper seating areas. That wall will get rebuilt a little bit lower and a little bit farther out into the seating hole to make it passable for handicapped seating, for people to move around the concourse level, out into the bowl, and to also make room for our loge box seating on our premium side of the court. If we look down now to the left, you can also see out to the main lobby and what is the beginning of the removal of the seats which will allow somebody entering Moody Coliseum to step into the lobby and begin to see immediately out into the playing arena. A very inviting opening field for those guests coming to Moody Coliseum, whether it's for graduation or a sporting event. If we look to the far side of the arena, you can see that there's light coming in. Just a couple of days ago, you would be looking at what was the old press box that hung from those steel girders. The press box has been removed piece by piece, and now you're looking into what will be, in the future, our suites. The first piece of new construction that will happen in the bowl area will be the construction and assembly of a catwalk system that will hang from our steel girders across the beams that go across the court. That catwalk system will allow us to hang our new lights for performance, whether it's on the court or whether it's on the stage, have our sound system, and provide us the opportunity to rig the building for different configurations whether it be for concerts, special presentations, and then very quickly back to sporting events. So we promised you wider concourses in an open area. So folks, let me just show you how we're delivered. If you look over here, this was the line for the concession stands. This was where the counter was at. And the wall to the offices were over here. As you can see now, we've added about another 12 feet before you get to where the new concession stands will be. So with this being April 1st, that's all I have to show for you today. We've got about eight and a half months until we're finished. So by the time we get together next time for our next video tour of the Moody Construction Project, we'll be wearing short sleeves. The Bush Library will be open for business. But one thing's for sure, Crumb Basketball Facility will stay busy all the way till we open the doors as it remains a key and valuable asset to us, especially during this construction project because it allows us to continue to have a home for our men's and women's basketball team and volleyball team as they prepare for next year's season. In our 
new conference. That's it for now. Go Mustangs.